what do you think happens when we pray, thy kingdom come, your kingdom come, whatever language we mm. use to pray it in? Well, I, I've always understood the prayer to be asking God to come and be king, asking him to rule and reign, and, and just coming back to that place where things are the way he wants them to be. And that has to happen in me. Uh, you know, I need that first and foremost. I need to be praying that for myself more than anything else. But I'd love to see it in, in others because I know the joy that praying that prayer brings. Ah. When, when Jesus is at the centre of our lives, where God is, is truly king over us, things, things go, they don't always, they're not always easy, but they go well. But I think there's, there's that out overflow as well, that the kingdom of God is more than the, just the individual coming back into relationship with God. But it's, it's God's transformation that he calls us to be part of as well. It's an inside us and it's outside of us. Now, you see, you're, as we, I've been talking with various church leaders about this, and the common themes have been words like transformation within us and mm. outside us, which is extraordinary. And that seems to imply to me that when we pray, Thy kingdom come, we are both inviting, requesting, seeking God to do something, but we're also making ourselves available. Do something is that right or I think so I, I think we're not crusaders where we think the world is wrong and we're going to change it absolutely we start off by recognizing that we need to be transformed ourselves and but when we experience grace there's always an overflow when when we right. are loved we love when we're forgiven we forgive um, when we know we've received we want to release so there's always that sense in which um, Lord come and come and bring revival but start with me Yes, and then absolutely. when you come, that absolutely. life that you give is going to overflow to others. And it's interesting too, you said, you know, that it's setting things right. It's the rule of God, which mm. when it's completed with the return of Christ is complete. Nothing will be wrong. But you and I, we both know in different ways within our own lives have experienced pain and difficulty yeah. and, and, and things that people look at and think, oh, that's, that's difficult, that's really hard. Mm. How do you see when we pray thy kingdom come, is that a contradiction with what we're praying or how do you see that working? That's a difficult question. Yeah, well, I, I think one of the things that we've always believed in New Wine is that um, the kingdom is already here, but it's coming. So Jesus said the kingdom is in our midst, but he taught us to pray for the kingdom to come. So we're always living in this foretaste. We're getting mm. glimpses. And that means that as we are experiencing difficulty or pain or suffering or living with people who haven't been fully healed physically or mentally or emotionally, that what we're seeing is we're seeing God breaking in. We're not necessarily seeing everything set right yet, but we know that he's with us and we know that he's helping us and we're seeing grace and gift in the middle of the pain and the process. One of the great Catholic theologians says that the kingdom of God is creation restored so it's this big picture of what we're moving towards. But we start where we are, and that's one, that's one of the gifts of God, that he takes us as we are, and he invites us into this glimpse, to glimpse now something that we will fully experience. But we, we're in process all that time. We, we're, we're, we're being sustained on that journey through life by the sense of what will one day be complete. So we know God's goodness and God's love is going to be fully seen at that point. One of the fascinating things about New Wine, of course, is that you've got Christians from all kinds of traditions who come together. Yeah. And yet they're drawn together in different ways, implicitly, explicitly. I can't remember a lot of liturgical prayer at New Wine in the 13 years I went there. I think come yeah. Holy Spirit is probably the closest we get. <laughs> I think that's probably right. But if you said to people, do you, do you sign up to the prayer, thy kingdom come, I think... It goes across all our divisions and yes. difficulties. Yes. Which to me is a very beautiful thing. When I hear it here in the in the chapel, uh, and we because we've got so many nationalities and churches here, we say pray in your mother tongue. So you get this babble of languages, but they're all praying, thy kingdom come. And I think when when the kingdom comes, we should expect it to come as well. We're not we're not praying only for that future state, but we're praying for the inbreaking of the kingdom now. And that's, that's what it is to, to be a Christian, to, to walk by faith, not by sight, to you know, live in the tension of not seeing everything, but to, to walk expectantly that God is good and his goodness yeah. will be shown to us now.